Um, against the backdrop of the campaign, Australia has just posted the slowest wage growth in decades. And Matthias Cormann, between that low inflation, low productivity and a stubborn deficit, do politicians need to level with Australians and say to them that they are unlikely to continue enjoying rising standards of living? Well, our, our economy is an economy in transition. We're dealing with uh, global economic headwinds. We're dealing with lower uh, global economic growth. And we're dealing with uh, much lower global prices for our key commodity exports. And that is, of course, why it is so important that we continue to implement our plan for jobs and growth. And, I mean, if you look at the results that we've achieved so far, uh, the economy uh, is growing at 3%, uh, higher than uh, any of the G7 economies, uh, double the right of Canada. Uh, employment growth is strong. Uh, the unemployment rate at 5.7% is not as low as we would want it to be, but it is much lower than what had been anticipated when we came into government uh, in 2013. So we've got to keep heading in the same direction. We've got to keep implementing our plan for jobs and growth, including a more competitive uh, enterprise tax rate. Tomorrow, Treasury will release the pre-election pre economic and fiscal outlook. Uh, Senator Cormann, would you expect it to be basically the same figures as the budget? Well, um, the budget was delivered about two weeks ago, so I certainly wouldn't uh, expect there to be uh, any material uh, variation. That's right.